Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing equivalent fractions. This is standard 3.3F in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 8 off the 2018 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out for yourself, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So we have four different fraction models that are shown, and we need to find two that are equivalent. So let's make sure we understand what that word equivalent means. I'm going to write it out here a little bit bigger, and I want to show you something you might not have seen. Equivalent, if we just underline E-Q-U-A-L, equivalent means equal. So we have two parts to our fractions. We have our numerator. The numerator is what we call the top number. And in this case, our numerator is going to be the shaded portions, the darker gray portions. And then we have the bottom number. That's going to be our denominator. So the numerator might change depending on whether it's a number line or whether it's a picture like this. But the denominator, denominator is always going to be the total. So the total number of squares or rectangles or pieces, right? So if we wanted to look at this first model, we would say this is 2 thirds. The reason we know it's 2 thirds is because there are two shaded pieces and there are three total pieces. This next model is 4 sixths. We know there are four shaded pieces and six total pieces. This one is 1 third because there is one shaded piece and there are three total pieces, and this next one is going to be four-fourths. And it might look a little bit strange to have the numerator and the denominator as um, the same number, but that's what it would look like. We have four shaded pieces out of four total pieces. And we would just probably just write that number as just the whole number one. Four-fourths or any fraction that has a numerator and denominator equal equals one. That just means it's the whole thing. We need to find two models that are equivalent, and we can actually solve this without doing any type of drawing. All we need to do is a little bit of analysis. So let's take a look at this 4 fourths right here. So this 4 fourths is the entire thing. So the only way that we could find something that is equal to 4 fourths is if we found something else that has the whole thing equal. So if we saw something that like this, this would be two halves. Or if we saw something like this, that might be three thirds. Doesn't matter if the rectangles are vertical or horizontal. This would be equal. This is three thirds. There is nothing else in here that has the entire thing filled out. So we're just going to put an X on that. And that is no good. Now let's look at one-third and two-thirds. So let's look at one-third and two-thirds. I can tell you right now that one-third and two-thirds, this model one and model three, do not equal each other, simply because we have the exact same denominator. This denominator is three. In model one, there are two pieces chosen. In model three, there is one piece chosen. So they can't be equal if they have the same denominator, if they have different numerators, they have different numbers chosen, which means our answer is going to include this 4 sixths. Since model 1 and model 3 cannot be equivalent, I need to find something that's equal to 4 sixths model 2. So I'm going to cross off the ones that do not have model 2. And we know that model 2 is not equal to model 4. So really, I'm just looking for model 2. Is it equal to model 1 or model so what I want to do is I want to show you one little magic trick right here. I want to see if I can draw a vertical line or a horizontal line here. What happens if I cut each of these fractions in half? You see what I did is I took my thirds and I made them sixths. So now I've got two six because I've got two shaded pieces out of six total pieces. Over here I've got one, two, three, four. 6 because 2 thirds is the same as 4 6. If I look at my 4 6, I got 1 third, 2 third, and 3 third is in the middle. So my answer is going to be 
F.